Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes. Today we are just going to do something about uh, designing a logo for you know different perspective. Yes. In this particular logo, we are going to design a logo for this particular company, and I know this particular logo is going to help you a lot when designing similar logos for your company. For anybody at all in life or any this yes. So there is the name Dabiago Group of Companies, and their their colors is they just want green, green group. They want color that combine that give you uh, green and all that. Yes. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to design a logo like that. If someone give you a name just like this, Dabiago Group of Companies, and the person asks you. To do what uh, to design the logo so first of all logo designing a logo has to do with a whole lot of things you need to take the information of the person what is the meaning of the people and what is the concept what what is their colors uh, you know you have to ask a whole lot of questions regarding that particular name before you can start designing because if you don't know the concept of the logo then you are going to design anything stupid and you, they won't like it so always try and understand and ask more questions and however some people may also ask you that i want this particular distance to come out from that or this particular image i want it to appear on my logo so in this case a person asked me to download or to have a a lion head on that logo and that also represents something from him so th that is why i downloaded this particular logo from uh, 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 uh google yes and you can also search for lion or lion head and you can get it either lion vector or lion images you can get all this so let's just not waste time let's just go straight to our photoshop and there is the colors that i, I choose from uh, green and i think all these colors is going to work for me in this particular distance so first of all we are going to create a new uh document and this particular document is just going to be uh two thousand by two thousand and I think that is what I'm going to use and that uh, is going to look beautiful. So there is that and I'll call that one Debyago Debyago logo. Let me just have a Debyago logo. Then we can have it like, just like this. So there is my first distance that I have just done and I know I have loved that. So first of all, sometimes to create a logo, you need to make a sketch. You need to do some kind of sketching down before you can have a base of start if not having it it will waste much of your time so first of all what i need to do is that the w will start with d so i'll just have a letter d and the group there i'll just add gene to it so that i'll have this particular symbol this thing over there and i think that one will look beautiful for me then i'll have it just like this and this particular this thing I'll change my font to poppins so that it will be a little bit bolder as I'm using it and I you know however I love using poppins not because that is my the font only I have but I don't want to come up with a whole lot of fonts that you know it will mix up your designs and you don't understand but you can also search for different 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 kind of uh, uh, fonts so that it, you can be using it but try and limit your font to either not too much and just have a little bit small you get that yes and then when if i have something like this i'll have it just like that okay yes and the next thing again i have to do on this particular logo is that what i really need to do over this particular distance is that i'm just going to go to edit then i'll come to free transform just like this and then if when i have something like the next thing i have to do is that i'll i'll click the arrow the arrow uh, on my keyboard down arrow one that one i'll just have to click it once you get that yes i'll just click one and then i'll click the right uh, arrow to one then when i have it just like that then i'll just have it just like this okay then the next thing again i have to do is that i'll hold Control shift alternate then t so that to duplicate more of that in this case okay i can i'll leave it around 50 
uh, more so that I can have my rest to very beautiful. Yes, so this is how you are just going to do and keep on doing until you have something like that over there. And you can still keep doing that so that you can have the best of the distance from there without having any problem. So let's just move it to somewhere 100. And when we have 100, I can see that we, we the work will look so something beautiful. Yes. Yes, so we have 100 like this. So the next thing I have to do is to just come and click on this particular distance and then move it to the this particular corporate GD. Then I hold shift to select all. You get that when I select all the next thing again I have to do is to come and click on this particular color over there and then I'll change the color to what to black to solid color black over there. You get that, and then I'll have it just like that. So I want the, the down color to be what to be black, so that there is just a concept that I just developed. And after having it black like this, all what I need to do is to press Ctrl J to what to group all the layer that I have just duplicated, and I can use it for how I want it to be. So Ctrl J, then that one is duplicated. Then I'll right click over there. And just convert it to smart objects converting a smart object means that i can still use it maybe in case they want me to reuse it again i can still use it or they want changes from it i can easily do that without any problem you get that yes. and when this thing is down all what i need to do on top there i'll bring it down you get that and on that particular one i'll call it shadow okay and this this shadow is going to help me then a marvelous job over there so i'll have it just like this and then i'll have something like that then i'll group it and this one i'll call a center okay this is my center details and i'll have it just like that okay the next thing again i have to do is to come and pick the uh, lion this thing over there then i'll just come and paste it over here and that is how that one looks like you get that so i'll just come to adjustment uh, layer over here then I'll come and pick levels. When I pick levels, I just want to drag this one down so that there are certain color that appears on it. It will, it will all vanish so that my distance will only be black. You get that. And when I have it just like it, I'll right click over here and just match it down. And when I match it, I'll have it something like that. And then I'll move it back to my distance over here and it should be somewhere like this. And what I need to do is to press Ctrl T and then I'll right click and flip it horizontally so that it will go this way you get that yes and the next thing again i have to do is to come to fx then i'll come to color overlay on this particular color overlay i will just leave my color to this particular color over here and then i'll have it just like that and i'll move on with my work you get that yes then i'll have it just like that so let me bring in the colors over here that i'm using so that i don't get confused at the end of the day so i'll have it just like this so this particular color should be this and that's it you get that so the next thing again i have to do is to honor this particular distance and then i'll move the distance to somewhere uh, just like that and it will be should be somewhere like that and then i'll close up that's my color and i'll have it just like this you get that and then on this particular uh what is the name shadow there i'll reduce my shadow a little bit down so that it will go a little bit down then i'll have it just like that and all these are center so I'll, I'll move that one to to the center group okay then i'll have it just like this so the next thing again i have to do is to come over to a rectangular market tool then i'll come and pick ellipse tool over here then i'll hold shift to draw a perfect circle just like this okay then when i have it just like that i'll have it in the middle of this particular distance then i'll hold a uh, shift alternate and then i'll just drag it perfectly to this so that it will fill up a little bit of my distance and then the next thing again i have to do is to come over to the properties on this particular field i'll close it up then i'll come to uh, what is the name stroke this thing and then i'll choose this color for that and then i'll just make my color some around 20 let me see okay 20 will be okay for me then i'll have it just like that okay yes and then the next thing again i have to do is to duplicate the circle by pressing ctrl g and then over there i'll come back to my properties again then i'll change this particular color to the color 
which is on top over here then i'll let it be this particular color over there you get that yes then i'll have it just like that okay and the next thing again i have to do is to press ctrl g is to press ctrl is to press shift alternate sorry and then i'll just move it a little bit down just like that okay then i'll have it just like that then i'll have it some more like this and then the next thing i have to do on this after moving this way i just have to come over there and then i'll close up this stroke just around there and then i'll have it just like that and then let me just close up the colors for this thing so that i'll have it just like this okay and then i'll move it to the bottom of the center over there and then i'll on up that particular one and that one i'll move it a little bit somewhere just like that so that it will take much of my time then i'll try and adjust it a little bit down yes and i'll have it just like this okay then the next thing i think again this thing has come out from there i don't like it that way so all what i need to do is to bring up the shadow i will let the shadow come out then i'll right click and create a clipping mask on me so that it will enter this particular circle there then i'll have it just like that and okay then i'll make sure i adjust my distance a little bit so that the lion how the lion has uh, uh, will appear very very well for them yes and this is what i'll have and i'll have something like this over there so the next thing again i have to do is that i'll write the name around the distance as we did earlier on how to write around a circle then i'll just group all and i'll call it x and then i'll close up this one so the next thing again i have to do again is that i'm just going to duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl j and then i'll bring out that layer from that group and then i'll hold shift alternate then i'll just drag it to the center somewhere like this okay then i'll have it just like that and then i'll just come and pick uh, my text tool over right here then i'll come and type in what i want to type in you get that so i'll reduce my size a little bit so that it won't take over everything on that thing you get that yes and then i'll start typing uh okay all what i need to do is to just come and copy it from over there and then i won't have much of my time wasted then i'll have it just like that and then i'll just paste it i'll just paste it on just like this okay and then all what i need to do again is to increase the size to a little bit so that it will uh build up so that everyone can see very very well you see that so i'll come up over to my directional tool over here when i pick my path directional tool over here all what i need to do is to a, a little bit drag it top so that it will look so distinct so for this one i just want to drag it a little bit over here then i'll drag this one somewhere like this so that it will cover small you get that then on this circle i'll just delete it that way i don't like it again because i have used it already so on this particular distance the next thing again i have to do again is that i'll change this particular color to the color over here and that one color i think that one color is here yes and i'll have it just like that and then i'll hold uh, shift alternate and then i'll just drag it a little bit down so that it will it will go down for me you get that yes so i'll just drag it so that it will go in the middle of that then i'll have it just like that and the next thing again i have to do i have to duplicate this layer over there so i'll unlock this layer then i'll come and duplicate this particular layer over there and then on this particular layer on top there i'll change I will come to the properties and then over there i'll add up that particular color over there which is here then i'll add a filter color over there which is down there just like that and then you see that it has filled up the distance you get that so the stroke i'll close up the stroke over there and then over this one i'll just have to make the reduce the opacity so that i'll see where i want to make my changes on so i'll just come and pick a rectangular market tool over here then i'll just come and draw something like this over here maybe sector of the distance should be okay for me just like that you get that yes and then over this one i'll just drag it to the fullest and then i'll right click over here 
then I'll rasterize the layer. Then after rasterizing the layer, what I need to do is to just press delete and that one will be deleted for me. Then I'll have it just like that. And then my logo has perfectly done just like that. And it's just a simple step, a simple concept I use in this particular this tutorial. And all this, the, 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 the colors that I use is three type of colors. And that color is just around green and uh, what is the name, yellow, but it looks so beautiful. So that is how we design a logo for this particular group. Dambiago group of company. This is just uh, a whole lot of things around this particular company. And this particular company is the uh, is 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 the is one of the kind persons in around uh, Wumpini Agrochemicals is part of this particular company. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. This is Avian Graphics, and have a nice day. Bye bye.